are dozens of museums here in North Texas, but only one has the distinction of being the first. And it's one that might surprise you. Karen Borda takes us there in this week's Welcome to Texas Report. <laughs> glance, the words oldest and modern wouldn't seem to go together. But in the case of the Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth, it's actually a perfect fit. Because as it enters its 125th year, not only is the Modern the oldest art museum in Texas, it's one of the oldest in the country. And it's all due to the efforts of some society wives who wanted to bring a little bit of culture to this western town. Texas is a great state for women leadership and so we've always had that great uh, tradition of uh, progressive thinking. The end result of that progressive thinking was the founding in 1892 of the Fort Worth Public Library and the Fort Worth Art Association. One of the museum's first acquisitions was Approaching Storm, created by George Innes in 1875. At that time it was a relatively new painting. It's kind of, uh, it was a new idea that was happening in, in American painting. We've always kind of been a contemporary or modern art. We've had to move that definition over the course of the time. The museum's current definition of modern is post-World War II, and there are as many interpretations of that art as there are people who view it. From the abstract works of Frank Stella on temporary exhibit, to the minimalist yarn sculptures of Fred Sandback. Does anybody ever walk into it not knowing it's there? I'd have to ask. I'm sure that's probably happened once or twice. And early Jackson Pollock to the legendary master of pop art, Andy Warhol. The modern can tempt even the most determined critic. We have incredible works of art here. Um, and, you know, people are a lot of times uh, afraid of modern art. But I would encourage people to give us a shot and set aside those fears because there really is something for everybody. Even the building is a work of art. We have this beautiful green space and uh, uh, artificial lake and uh, an opportunity. We have ducks every spring that come in and roost and, and bring their ducklings. So it's, it's a nice opportunity to commune with nature, but then also see some really important works of art as well. Steeped in history, but showcasing the art of today. Karen Borda. CBS 11 News.